everyone, welcome to my first project for Kid Isle Kids for the month of October and I'm starting off with um, this particular layout which was 100% inspired by the paper itself. So I love Vicky Booten papers often because they really are made to inspire you creative, creatively. Now a lot of places do that obviously but as soon as I saw this paper I knew I wanted to mimic that art shape on my photos and I wanted to tuck my photos behind those art shapes which is exactly what I'm doing. So I, I sort of roughly measured my photos um, on Photoshop and I printed them out and I'm just using my little die cut things there to write to kind of cut out a template and then that is how I'm arching them. Next I am going in with my exacto knife and I'm just sort of chopping out um, the bits where I want to tuck my photo behind, like so. I wanted there to be some separation between my photos and they were all samey-samey, so I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to back all of my photos on some of the colourful paper that we got in this kit as well. And so I'm starting with the large one with this pink and orange paper. Honestly, I love Vicky Booten papers. Especially when they're colourful, they just, like that pink and orange paper just, I know, I want to use it actually, but it just gives me life. Same with this uh, polka dot one, it's just amazing. Anyway, so I'm just grabbing some papers and I'm just going to create a little colourful border. I love this one too, because I can just imagine all the things you can do with that. But anyway, I am now just tucking these photos in behind those little cut out arches. I really wanted to do this specifically because I wanted you to get a glimpse of Emma's shoes because this was for her school disco and she wore these like glittery shoes and they were her favorite part. So I wanted to make sure you could see the shoes, which as you can see, you can see the shoes. Conveniently, all of the chipboard uh, little arches or starburst, rainbow, whatever you call these, they matched up to the colors of the arches and this is not the same collection like I'm pretty sure the chipboard was from Paige Evans and this was from Vicky Booten so I was like oh conveniently they all match up. Um, we got these labels ages ago, um, not labels sorry tiny word phrases ages ago in Kidholics Kids and I decided to put them all there and underneath there's little arches and I added my title and now I'm going to go in with some mixed media fun. So we got these stamps and I'm basically just stamping out my own flowers and my little leaf sprigs using this paper here because I like the idea of having them nice and colourful. So I'm going to create a few little clusters of uh, flowers once I fussy cut these out and you'll see me do that in just a second here. So I basically just want there to be two clusters where the arches meet each other and I am also, I really like how this turned out. What you could also do, I've done this before, what you could do is you could stamp on with embossing ink and then emboss so it'll be like a beautiful embossed gold border uh, if you wanted to bring more gold in, which I really like. Uh, speaking of gold, I'm using my little gold pen here and I'm going to draw some little like dotty bits and plus signs as I've been obsessed with lately. <laughs> if you've seen any of my layouts lately, basically I've done something like this in all of them. I am creating a border, just raining all of that messiness in. And what am I going to do last? I don't know. Oh, I'm adding some journaling, of course. So that green arch there was a perfect spot for me to add some journaling, just talking about the school disco and how she was really excited about her shoes. Once that journaling is done, <clears throat> I believe I'm done. Is anything else going to happen? Am I going to add the date? I should add the date. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to add the date. Uh, this is just very recent. This has happened in the last few days or so. And once that date is added, this is where I'm adding the stickles. So I'm going to add the stickles right in the center of those floral clusters, these gold stickles, because I like doing that and it gives some dimension to the flat shape because that's obviously just stamping. So with that, this layout is basically done. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to talk about these things. I love those things. Those like mirrored uh, stickers. They're just fantastic. So I'm adding some more of that as well. And I added them throughout. Um, yeah, with that, this is completely done. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you all again next week. Bye.